Awesome. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Welcome to uh, Geneva. We, are, we have a beautiful day here. You cannot see it, but yeah, enjoying a little bit of summer in, uh, in Switzerland after a lot of rain. Uh, it's Geneva Watch Days. Um, I'm super happy to, uh, to host you here today to present our latest novelty. We're presenting one product this year here during the Geneva Watch Days. And uh, it's something very special, a new milestone for each Moser and company. So if you allow me, I'm, I'm gonna start the presentation. It's pretty short. Uh, if you have any questions, I think it's better you write them in the chat and then I will be able to answer them at the end of the, of the presentation. It's gonna take probably 15, 20 minutes. So yeah, we have time for questions. I'm gonna start. Um, yeah, I'm just looking back at H. Moser. We, buy, we bought it with my family in 2012. One of the elements that uh, made me you know, feel attracted and, and fall in love with the brand was the perpetual calendar. As you can see here on, on the screen, the perpetual one was developed by my predecessors. I think it was the most ingenious uh, movement out there in the market. Very simple uh, looking watch, yet a very complex one. It was uh, a movement developed uh, by our engineers together with master watchmaker Andreas Trella. Uh, you see the small arrow below the logo on the picture. This is very the, the genius part. Um, using the 12 indexes to, in, to show the 12 months. So you have a small arrow right now looking at 12 o'clock. So the 12th month. So that means the watch is showing you the 12th of December. We always show the 12th of December on our lifestyle pictures because it's the date of birth of Heinrich Moser, our founder, the 12th of December, 1805. So the brand uh, started working on this project in 2000. Around 2000, 2005, the brand was relaunched after 20 years sleeping. Uh, the watch was very well received. It already won the uh, JPHD Complicated Watch Award in 2006. We sell, we continue to sell this, this watch since then. Uh, we did many different editions. We had the golden edition, for example, where the movement was in gold, the dial was in gold, the hands were in gold. That was in 2011. We did a few re-engineering. Uh, the name of the movement moved from HMC 341, uh, which was in a 40.8 millimeter case to the HMC 800, which had slightly different dimensions, uh, much more reliable. That was uh, in a case of uh, 42 millimeter. Um, and then today we'll be presenting a new uh, edition. Now we have the perpetual calendar, which is kind of our iconic movement. I mean, we have many other movements. This is the movement that inspired all the developments we, we, we did then in terms of philosophy, you know, of going minimalistic, uh, go, trying to find the essence of a function, being a mini repeater, being a perpetual moon, being um, whatever we have developed over the years. That was the philosophy we, we followed, and it was uh, developed uh, first by my, my predecessors. A year ago, you might remember, we launched the Streamliner collection, which is the latest of our four collections. Uh, the Streamliner was a very long project. We wanted to, um, to develop something, part of what we call the integrated steel bracelet segment. Many very successful iconic products are integrated bracelet, like the Royal Oak, the Nautilus from bigger brands. And we thought, you know, what would be an integrated bracelet for Moser? So it's been a lot of iteration, a lot of ideas, a lot of, uh, of designs until we found the perfect design for Moser, which, is with, which started with the bracelet, this monolink, uh, very organic uh, bracelet, very uh, flexible very comfortable to wear. And that's what you see here on, on, on the picture. So the Streamliner was launched on the 9th of January, 2020 with the flyback chronograph automatic in a limited edition, extremely successful. We followed that exactly a year ago with what we call the Green Dragon. It's a center second uh, matrix green dial. Uh, later on in the year, we launched a new edition of the, pepper, of the chronograph with a funky blue dial. That's when we won the Grand Prix de Genève uh, for the chronograph uh, edition. So at Moser, we wanted, uh, the idea was to mix the two. You know, we, we, if, we, if we were to put this, this perpetual calendar together with the streamliner, blend them, that's what we did on, the, on this picture. You can see here, that was our teaser. What would it look like? Uh, obviously we didn't press on the button, but in our brains with our engineers, we developed the streamliner perpetual calendar. And I'm very excited to present it to you today. It's a new movement. It's a perpetual calendar center second, four hands at the center. The original one was a small second, uh, more pocket watch style. We wanted a more modern uh, perpetual calendar, more aligned with the design of our chronograph. I will show it to you uh, in a few seconds, a few minutes. Uh, this is more details about the, the face of the, of the watch. So we are, we are on a 42.3 millimeter watch, 120 meter water resistant, thanks to the screw down crown at four o'clock. It was a design choice to put the crown at four o'clock because the crown of the chronograph is also at four o'clock. 
we have a black or fumidile. That's our first, uh, the original first color we created for fumidiles. You know, Moser is known for our, we known for our beautiful dyes, fumidiles. Now many brands do fumidiles, but this was the first one we, we, we did back in 2007, I think. Um, we have a 10 days power reserve. It's actually minimum seven days power reserve. It actually runs 10 to 11 days. Uh, and this is the beautiful HMC 812. If we go a little bit more focused on the dial, there's two elements I would like to share with you. One is the logo. It's a transparent logo. Moser is all about understatement. Uh, we believe that a, what, a Moser watch should be recognizable by its fixtures and not by uh, the name on the dial. Reason why now we apply on all our standard models, this transparent logo. It's something that we triggered and started during Watches and Wonders this year with the Mega Cool collection. Then you see just below the small hand indicating the months, again, pointing towards 12, so it's the months of December. And then I wanted to show you the, the hands. The hour and minute hands are um, globalized hands. They are very three-dimensional. The white element uh, on sitting on the, on the hand is actually ceramic charged with superluminova. It's called the globalized technology, and it's something we, uh, we mold individually and sit, uh, set on the, on the hands to have this really three-dimensional effect. Let's turn the watch around. I have the watch with me. We'll go into more details afterwards live. But here I wanted to show you the, the movement itself. So it's uh, it's different finishing, uh, more modern compared to the, the original one. I'll show you the comparison afterwards. You see the leap year indication. This is the small star, uh, kind of round star that we have here with a red arrow. It's showing not whether it's uh, 2011, 12, 13, 21, 22, whatever, but it's showing you whether it's a leap year, leap year plus one, leap year plus two, leap year plus three. Keep in mind that a perpetual calendar is a watch that knows whether there's 28, 29, 30, and 31 days. You don't need to have a moon. You don't need to have a day indication. You don't need to know the, the sunrise and sunset. These are additional complications that people like to add to make the watch look more complex. At Moser, our philosophy is the other, the other way around, is remove everything unnecessary. That's why we don't put the year, because we think people remember that we're in 2021. We don't put the, the day. We only keep what is essential to the, to, the, to the customer. Other elements we can see here is the modular escapement. Um, Moser is known for the modular escapement, meaning that the, the escapement, we produce our hairspring and the escapements in-house. Uh, they can be, it is a small module sitting on the main plates, meaning that you can service our watches extremely quickly, even if you're not a master watchmaker. We have opened uh, a little bit the, the, the movement there also to make it uh, more three-dimensional, a little bit more modern. Here is a comparison of the two movements. You see the gold chatons um, on both watches. That's the uh, two barrel for the 10 days power reserve. But you see the finishing is very different. On the right-hand side, more modern, horizontal Moser lines, Moser stripes. The Moser stripes are one narrow, one wide. Uh, we have the same on the left-hand side, but they have a 45-degree um, orientation. Then the bridges are a little bit different. We cut them vertically on the, the new streamliner. It has a more, um, I would say, um, curved uh, bridge cut on the left-hand side, more three-quarter bridge style. And you can see the finishing is, is a rodier, whereas on the right-hand side is a darker gray. We wanted to create a contrast between the steel case and steel bracelet with this beautiful darker gray movement. Now I'm going to show you a short movie so you can see more details. You will see how the date jumps at, at midnight. And then we're going to go live with the watch in my hands here at the studio.
we're back in the studio. I hope you, um, you appreciated that, that movie. But uh, let's, let's have a look at, at the watch now, live uh, from our light box. I hope you can, you can see it clearly. I can focus here. I want to start by showing you our transparent logo, which I think is a very interesting uh, feature. See here, when I play with the light, the logo appears and disappears. We consider every Moza watch as a piece of art, and we think that, like an art piece, the signature should be very subtle, usually in a corner of a painting or even at the back. Uh, that's the way we look at our watches at Moser, the reason why we have this transparent logo. You see the small hand here? It's showing the second month. So we are here on the 28th of February, a very special day for all perpetual calendar owners. We call it Moser Day here at Moser. I'm going to show you how what happens when uh, the time passes on the 28th of February. Wait until the hand passes. So the second hand passes so that we don't hide anything. It's gonna take another couple of seconds because we have a stop seconds when I'm gonna pull the crown on the time setting uh, level, the second will stop. I'm gonna move forward. You see here, it's, it should be 10.30 at night. Usually on traditional perpetual calendar, you would see a lot of things happening, date changing to the 29th, 30th, 31st, et cetera. And it would take a lot of energy, a lot of time. You would have to be careful not to touch your watch at that time because you could break everything. Here at Moser, not, nothing happens. We are 11 p.m., 11.30. It's a quarter to midnight. Still, we know it's the 28th of February. We're not in between two dates. It's very clear to read. Five minutes be before midnight, still 28th of, uh, of February. And then when I pass, we turn to the 1st of September. Really instant jump, that's unique, that's patented, that's called the flash calendar. It doesn't stop there. If I go back to the date setting, we see it's almost midnight, usually on a traditional perpetual calendar, brands would tell you not to touch your and change the date or change anything because it's a lot of gears that you would break. We have a system patented with, uh, with springs allowing me to go forward and backwards on this particular date. So I can go back, you see the arrow at the center, going to 28th of February, 1st of March. 28th of February, 1st of March. So if you miss the big day, if you miss the, the uh, 28th of February, well, you can play with it the next morning and experience the big jump again. It's a 42.3 millimeter case. As I said, it features the, the very beautiful uh, Moser monolink uh, uh, bracelet. The power reserve is at uh, 10 o'clock. The date is at four o'clock with the crown. As I said before, it is reminiscent of the chronograph. I'm wearing the funky blue chronograph. You see the crown is at four o'clock. We wanted to create homogeneity between in, in, uh, in this collection. It's a cushion shaped case, slightly slimmer than the original chronograph uh, on this movement. The chronograph was automatic. This one is hand wound. You see the beautiful uh, movement, how it moves smoothly, fits even the smallest wrists like mine. I have a font 15. 0.5 uh, centimeters rest, still a 42.3 works very, very nicely because there's no lugs on this particular watch. Beautifully integrated bracelet. Let's now look at the movement. I'm gonna uh, try to go closer so you can see the beautiful finishing. I said there's this darker finishing on the movement. You see the two gold chatons with screws. This is very traditional. You see the hallmark from Moser. That's our tradi traditional signature on the movement. Since 1828, date of foundation of Moser, all the movements are signed uh, like that. You see the modular escapement uh, with a gold anchor, gold anchor wheel. We also see at the, just behind the, the, uh, the escapement a double wheel. That's how we ensure the, that we have a direct center second with direct energy, no friction wheel, which, uh, um, which uh, some other would, would use. We have a more efficient solution for the direct center second. You, you see also the leap year indication there with the uh, round kind of star indicating the leap year. I'll show you also the center second next to it. So you can see the difference between the 40 millimeter uh, on the right hand side and the 42.3 millimeter. This is the green dragon. I'm going to show you how the movement works um, with, the, with the date. I hope and focus on this. Imagine the date would be now the 23rd. We actually have developed a system with two disks. You have a disk that shows 20, uh, uh, 1 to 15. That's the top disk with a small window 
or you can, we can see 16 to 31. And we are I can move forward and you will see how the disc move with each other in relation to each other. So here we're on the 31st and we're gonna go on the first. We're gonna go forward to the 15th. Then we're gonna to go to the 16th, the, the window is gonna block and then we see the disc below moving. That's why we have such a big date. It's also a patented system and you can go forward backwards. The discs are the most difficult element for us to produce. They produced in house. I'm gonna show you just the complexity of the those two discs, they need to be extremely precise because they work on top of each other and they're very functional. Look at this. You can see the probably the T's. So you see the T's, you see at between the 31 and 30, there's a spring integrating in the integrated in the discs. Very complicated to produce, as I said, the most complicated part in this 326 uh, component uh, watch. Now I'm going to show you a picture of uh, how this watch looks in, in the dark with the Superluminova. Uh, I showed you before the beautiful hands and the ceramic. It glows amazingly well, charged a lot during the day and then uh, glows in the, in the dark with the ceramic. We also have a, um, a Superluminova uh, on the date. It's not global light. We don't have the space for that. As I said, the discs need to play on top of each other. So this is the collection, the Streamliner. Now with three models, it's really becoming a, a strong collection for Moza, uh, but very limited in, um, in models. We only have the green center second, the black or uh, perpetual calendar launched today, and the funky blue uh, flyback chronograph automatic. There's no other colors. They're not limited, but limited in, in production because you know at Moza, we produce about 1,500 watches per year. Um, we produce about uh, 20 Green Dragon per month, eight Perpetual Calendar per month, and 10 Chronograph. So it's very, very limited. That's why Moser is very rare. With that, I've come to the end of my presentation, and I'm ready to answer any question you might have. Um, doesn't seem to have too many questions. Um, so I'll leave you a few seconds, and otherwise means my, my presentation was good enough and you got all your answers and then we can um we would close at this point because at h moser we're launching one model a very strong model and that's the streamliner perpetual calendar yeah i don't see that many questions so i guess it's all clear i remain available for you guys if you have any questions uh additional coming later send them to um to michael and you can forward to me and i'd be happy happy to answer per, per email Thank you so much. I wish you all the best and um, yeah, talk to you soon.